today I'm driving to Pai here and what I first want to do is go to the Waitangi Treaty Grounds where the Maori and the British signed their first treaty. I even found a parking spot in the shade. Excellent. That guided tour was quite interesting, like uh, the warfare they used in their past against the British in some of the wars was later then used by the British in World War One, trench warfare. Next thing up is a cultural performance, which basically means we're gonna see a haka. And finally I can show you some awesome uh, Maori stuff. I, I meant to do that for a long time. Kia ora! Kia ora! It's now almost uh, 3 p.m. and I can have lunch. I decided I want to go to Aroha Island, which is really a peninsula, at least if I believe the map. There is a campground, it's pretty late anyway, but there is a chance, because there's lots of kiwis in the area, 
that at night you can just leave the campground and look for kiwis. So that's what we're going to do. Let's drive there. So, I am on Arua Island, just checked in, and it is an island, like, it obviously it didn't felt like it because it's a road leading here, but it was an island and they built this, this road on a bank, but, so technically it's a peninsula now, but it's still an island, and that's one of the reasons why there's kiwis living here. It's only four apparently, so not many, but since it's not that big, the place, there's a good chance of uh, finding kiwis. I got some red cellophane I can put on my torches. So, yeah. Let's get settled in. And this is where I will be camping tonight. Right at the beach. It's low tide though, so I cannot go swimming right now. I have to wait a few hours. Best place to work for like ever. This is going to be my rig for tonight with the red cellophane so I don't disturb the kiwis in line with the GoPro. My dinner tonight in this awesome spot and the tide came back in. Two things. I just observed a fish jumping out of the water randomly and secondly I'm wearing hiking boots and it feels like ages. It's probably just a few weeks but seriously I've been walking around in flip-flops or barefoot most of the time and I'm not wearing the flip-flops now because they make the sound flip-flop. So you want to be really quiet to hear the kiwis so I probably won't be talking much, just whisper into the microphone if I see a kiwi. And yeah, let's let's hope for the best of luck. Alright, I adjusted the settings of the GoPro. No beeping, no emitting light. I tuned up the sensor as high as I could with the EV compensation, all of that. So that's why I'm so bright, I think, I hope. <laughs> I did everything I could, so you guys can hopefully see a kiwi too. so 